Hi, it's Valen again. Um, this is the video that I said I was going to be um, producing. Um, I've done a script, so we'll be going on to the scripted bit in a minute. Um, please watch it to the end. It has got, I hope, uh, a good message or at least a helpful message um so um it may not be as good as i was hoping it was going to be because my brain fog has kicked in so i do apologize it is scripted but it still may not be very good uh so here we go i can't believe that it was the 31st of January 2019 when I post a video called Disabled People Deserve Better. And unfortunately, things still haven't got any better for us. Indeed, the war against the sick and disabled has entered a new phase, given that the anti-migrant message isn't cutting through as well as the Tories have hoped. With nothing to offer the ordinary citizens of the UK, the Tories have decided to scapegoat the sick and disabled again because they are cruel, cowardly and totally without conscience. I would like to say things might be better under an alternative government, but Mr Kid Starver's party seems to want to punish the sick and disabled for being the victims of circumstance. The rhetoric coming from the likes of Liz Kendall and Rachel Reeves is chilling, leaving the impression that the scapegoated vulnerable people of the UK would probably be better off under the Tories than under a government led by Tel Aviv Keith, which is a horrible thought in its own right. The UK is going to be having a general election soon. And the vulnerable people of the UK are going to have very little option in whom to vote for to improve our circumstances. We have little hope for our future. Whichever major political party takes the reins of government as they seem intent on punishing us for the mistakes both parties have made. We understand that the Tories are hostile to the sick and disabled and that we will always be treated as third class citizens by them whenever they are in power. But now we have an opposition party that says, you think you're hard on the disabled? Hold our beer because you ain't seen nothing yet. Disabled people deserve better treatment than this from a government that is meant to protect its citizens. If we had better support, perhaps more disabled people could enter the workplace and become so-called productive members of society. If we weren't treated like criminals and fraudsters and forced to undergo humiliating assessments, we might be more able to cope with our disabilities, especially if those disabilities are of the poor mental health variety. If the services we rely on weren't cut to the bone, we might have the slightest chance of recovery or simply coping. If we were given hope, we might not be so downtrodden and defeated. We certainly don't need the further indignity of not being able to use our personal independence payments for whatever aids our ability to live with our disability by having our cash payments replaced by a voucher scheme which will in the long run cost more to administrate than it will save, much like the constant disability benefit assessments. To put things in terms politicians can understand, good, well-funded public services create happier and more productive citizens, disabled and non-disabled alike. And if you provide concrete improvements to the uh, to people's lives, give them hope. It's a definite vote winner. The prime minister and party that delivers hope could stay in power indefinitely. 
The current crop of politicians have to understand that the disabled vote is up for grabs and in the current climate could well help swing an election one way or another. But to do that, the parties have to offer something other than abuse and scapegoating of the sick and disabled. Offer us hope. Offer us a future where we are no longer looked down upon. And more importantly, deliver that future. Disabled people deserve better. And it's about time we got it. That's the end of the scripted portion. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please share. Um, and possibly become a subscriber. Because I will be continuing to do this sort of content. Um, there will be other stuff that I will be doing that isn't this but I will continue to do benefits uh, benefit videos um, and the odd um, political commentary from a man on the street perspective I am not an expert but I think even the man on the street has, a uh, man or woman on the street, has the right to voice their opinion. So, hope to see you on the next video. Um, if you are a subscriber or become a subscriber, do hit the notification bell so you know when a new video has been dropped. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.